Hey everyone, it's Jill the Wandering Stamper. It is a gorgeous day. I just finished my workout, which is why my hair is all up. I'm still a little warm. It is a little spicy today in Lakeland, Florida. But I wanted to come on and show you how to make the cutest card and it's very functional. It's a fun fold gift card holder and I'm using the brand new Hooray for Surprises uh, stamp set. It's in the mini catalog and it's a stamp set that I have never seen before. It's really cool. So I'm so glad you could join me today for this. I'm gonna take a moment to turn down the camera and we'll get started. Thanks for joining me. Here are the products we're gonna use today. As I mentioned, we are going to have some fun with this Hooray for Surprises stamp set. This stamp set is so unique. I've never seen Stampin' Up! do this. Um, I purchased the bundle out of the mini catalog, so it comes with some great stamps and dies. But what's special about these dies is that it creates little secret pull tabs. So your cards can have this little interactive touch to them where you hide a message behind the tag and when the recipient opens the card, they can pull the tab up and reveal their secret surprise. So there's a long one and then there's a couple of circles that do that. And then of course this heart shaped um, piece that also does that. So when you cut them out, there's a little tab um, to create the little mechanism. And then the stamp sets come with little words. So all of these images um, have dies, so you can cut them out. There's great um, sentiments there. And then also you have these little stamps that say pull for you and open here. So you can create the little kind of tag um, so people know what to do with that. But it die cuts the shapes in a perforation so it's really easy for them to peel back the uh, piece of paper to reveal their surprise underneath. So I'm gonna show you how to use these sets to do that. And we're gonna create a functional card that is also a gift card holder, or you could put a photo in there or a little note or letter, um, very functional. And if you don't wanna do that, you just leave that little pocket off. So I'm going to show you how to make that. Very quickly, I wanna show you the products. So in the mini catalog that is available from January through April, has all of these amazing stamp sets, but this is where you can find out about this bundle. It's the Hooray for Surprises bundle, and then it comes with the Hooray for Surprises dies. And of course, this is also an idea book, so it gives you some great ideas on layouts. So we are definitely going to have some fun with this. And then, let's see. Um, we are gonna be using some designer series paper, and it comes from the <clears throat> celebration catalog which I'm going to show you in a moment and that paper actually coordinates with a stamp set that is in the mini catalog it's called the bright it's called bright skies and there's actually a bundle to cut out the images in the stamps and also on the paper so if you love the paper you may want to get these stamps as well so that's in the mini catalog and then in celebration, we are going to be using the Sunny Days Designer Series paper. This paper is so pretty. It's got clouds, it's got some great backgrounds, it's got some flowers, a little bit of everything. We're gonna be using this beautiful, um, I guess they're poppies. There's some cherries, there's some really happy yellow butterflies, rainbows, it's really pretty paper. Um, and it coordinates really well um, with what we're working on today. So that paper is a free product in the Celebration Catalog when you spend $50 in product. Um, and then, let's see, is there anything else we're using from here? I don't believe so. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna move these catalogs out of the way a moment and pull my cart closer. Okay, so we are gonna create a card that has a pocket for a gift card. So the first thing we're gonna do is get out our handy dandy paper cutter and we're going to be working with Pool Party and Real Red. And we're working with that because look how nicely it coordinates with this paper that I've chosen to use. Very, very pretty. And that's the magic of Stampin' Up! Everything matches. Um, or everything I should say has a coordinating color with it. So this is a piece of five and a half by 10 and a half paper uh, cardstock in pool party. So I've already cut that and we're gonna score it in two places. 
we're going to score it at two inches. And then we're gonna score it at six and a quarter inches. So I'm gonna open this arm and the six and a quarter inch is right here on my trimmer. I love this trimmer, it just makes life so easy. Six and a quarter, okay? So I'm move this trimmer out of the way. I did some pre-cutting and scoring ahead of time for you so that um, we can get started on the fun stuff that much quicker. So I'm gonna use my bone folder. I'm I'm folding the large flap in and the smaller flap in. So it's almost like a book, okay? Like that, if that helps. So we're gonna fold those in and give them a good score with the bone folder. All right, and then one thing I did not do, which we'll do this really quick, is, oh no, we don't need a belly band. That was my last video. <laughs> Sometimes I lose my mind. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is work on the front and I have pre-cut a piece of designer series paper that is one and three quarters by five and a quarter. And then I've also cut a piece of just printer paper, copy paper, whatever you have, scrap paper. Um, you want this to be just a thin paper, it doesn't need to be cardstock. And it's also one and three quarters by five and a quarter. All right, so these layer, behind each other because we're going to create kind of a little mask and then this is going to layer on a slightly larger piece of basic white which is one and seven eighths by five and three eighths all right and this is all going to go on this small panel so I'm going to show you what we're going to do so I've decided that I want my pull tab on this card to go right here and it's going to be layered on here but we want to be able to put a message below it. So <clears throat> in the stamp set, you have this long message that says you are simply amazing. So this is the one I'm going to put there. But I want to kind of create my spot where I want to put this. All right. So I'm going to grab my mini Stampin' Emboss machine. I finally got one. I love it because when I don't need the giant one, this one's lighter and easier to grab in my small spot. I still have my big one and I still use it, <clears throat> but this little one is nice when I'm just cutting small things. So I'm really happy that I got that. All right, so I'm gonna put my plates on here and then I'm going to line up my two pieces. And so they're straight. And then I'm gonna place this piece Hopefully you can see everything. I'm gonna place this piece exactly where I want it. Just about there. I'm kind of just centering it, but I'm offsetting it because I'm gonna put some flowers on here. And then I'm gonna use a piece of frog tape. I love this frog tape because it's not super sticky. Um, I mean, it's sticky, but it will peel right off. So I don't have to worry about messing up my paper. So I'm putting that on there to anchor it. And now I'm gonna grab my other plate and run this through. All right, we'll get our little snap, crackle, and pop going. This one actually, woo! And I just shot my clear blocks right off the table. We're gonna need this in a moment. So now we have our piece cut, and I'll show you how it looks. So I'm just gonna simply, just carefully peel up this frog tape and I will use it again for another project later and you want to be gentle when you're peeling these off because you don't want to tear your perforations on the paper because that's where the surprise is going to be so I've pulled that off all right and I'm going to take this off now you can see you've got a perfectly perforated spot and we're going to stamp something right there but I'm going to just carefully peel away this copy paper and you want to be gentle with it Okay, so now we can go ahead and peel this off. And this is how somebody would get this. They would just peel this open. All right, so now when we take our piece of paper, we can lay it right where we want to have it centered. And now we know where to stamp our message. All right, so let me move these out of the way. And I'm going to get some grid paper so you can see a little bit better. So all I'm going to do <clears throat> is 
I'm going to be layering this piece of paper the same place I would be layering the designer series paper. So I'm kind of just centering it nicely. If you want to anchor it with a piece of tape again, that's probably a good idea. So I'm going to grab that tape again and I'm just going to tape it down just so it doesn't move. Okay. And now I'm going to grab my sentiment. You are simply amazing and my block. Okay. And I'm going to stamp it in, what am I going to stamp it in? Real red, I think. Let me grab my real red. I've still got some poppy braid sitting here. Actually, we are using poppy parade. I apologize. Sometimes I get my reds in my... So it's pool party and poppy parade are the colors that we're using. Thought I was losing my mind there for a minute. I could still be. All right, so I'm going to ink this up nicely. And then I'm going to stamp this right where and our little piece is taped. So I'm going to just kind of center it and stamp it down. All right, so now we know exactly where that's going to fall when we give that later as a gift. All right, so now I'm going to take my tape off carefully and remove this. And so now when I adhere this piece, our message is going to be right where it's supposed to be. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. And this works this way for any of the shapes, the heart, the cake, you can put on a circle, do the same thing. Anything you uh, create with this, just create a mask and make your life easier so that you know exactly where everything's going to go. So now I'm just going to put my tape, my liquid glue around the edges. And then I'm also going to put one kind of along the side of where this pull tab is. And that's because people are going to be pulling that and I want it to be nice and strong. I don't want it to lift up the part of the paper that doesn't have the message. So now make sure you're going in the right direction and go ahead and layer your piece on top. So that's probably the most time consuming part of this card is just figuring out where you want your image. And then once you place it, it's really easy. So now I'm going to grab the words pull. Actually, I might use the open here. Where is it? I think it will fit. Yep. So we're going to use open here grab the right size block and I'm again I'm gonna just use the poppy parade I'm gonna keep all my colors the same so I'm gonna ink that up and just carefully place that right there so now people know exactly where to open it sometimes they'll be afraid to pull that if they didn't see the instructions to open it so you don't want people to be afraid to use their card Where's the fun in that? So I'm gonna grab my stamp cleaner really quick. Put a little stamp and mist on there because this is Poppy Parade and it's a bright stamp and I don't wanna to forget to clean my stamp and do something else with it. So I like to cut it or clean it right away. All right, so now we have that and we can go ahead and layer this on our panel. So you could use liquid glue or stamp and seal. I'm feeling lucky today. I'm going to use my stamp and seal. Sometimes I don't get things on very straight, but you know what? I got my workout done today and I've had my coffee and it's beautiful outside. So I'm feeling like I got this. All right. So now I'm just going to leave a narrow margin and adhere this to the front panel. Simple, simple, right? All right. So now we're going to go ahead and decorate this panel on the left and so this piece is going to be let's see this is going to be four and an eighth by five and three eighths it's just going to fit perfectly right here and then we have a second one that's going to fit on the inside so just cut two of them 
at four and an eight or four and an eighth by five and three eighths. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and grab my adhesive again. I love this paper. It's so happy, bright and happy. And I can't wait to give this out as a birthday card or I think this would be perfect for one of my nieces. I usually send them a gift card. So this would be a fun way to do that. All right, so that's that. Now we're gonna work on the inside of the card. So I'm gonna go ahead since I have this panel and I'm gonna put this panel right here. And I'm just using some stamp and seal. This is actually stamp and seal plus. I didn't grab my stamp and seal out um, of my bin, but that will work too, or liquid glue, anything goes. So for this piece, I'm going to just leave a small margin, make sure everything's straight. Look at that. This is why I tend to use liquid glue. So if you don't push it down really hard, then you can kind of manipulate it a little bit. All right, so that's on there. So now we're gonna build the inside. And so I've got a piece of Poppy Parade that's four and an eighth by five and three eighths. And then I've got a piece of basic white that's slightly smaller. So this is four by five and a quarter. All right. But before we do that, before we put this in here, we're going to do some stamping on it. So I'm going to keep it simple and I'm going to do sending you lots of love. Take my open here off. And I'm going to do this up in the corner. Oop, look at that. I have ink on my finger. I'm going to flip that card over now. Make sure your uh, fingers aren't inky when you're working with white. Now I'm going to stamp that here. Okay. A little teeny tiny bit crooked but I don't think it's that noticeable so we're not gonna worry about it and then I'm gonna grab this flower because we're gonna be putting flowers on the front so I'm gonna grab this flower I need a bigger block and I'm gonna stamp off so that the flower is not crazy bright um, and I'm gonna put that on the bottom right so I'm inking up my flower and then I'm going to stamp off and you could do it full brightness if you want, but I'm just going to put it right here in the corner like that. All right. So that's it. I'm going to close up the stamp pad so I don't make a mess. And now we simply have to layer this piece onto our poppy parade. And I just left a narrow margin all the way around like that. And you could actually leave this out if you just wanted, if you wanted to, you could just use white, not put the poppy parade behind it. But I like the poppy parade. I just think it's, it pulls in the colors so well that I think it's worth it to put that there. So I like to make sure everything kind of lines up. So if I put it toward the top edge, I can do just that. So there we go. All right. So now you could leave this card inside just like this, but we're going to go ahead and create our pocket for a gift card. So I want to show you quickly how to do that. And you can do this for any card you make. Um, you can even make it longer and do it this way if you'd like. So there's so many ways you can do this. Um, so to make this, you're gonna go ahead and cut a piece of Poppy Parade um, three by four and an eighth. So let's see, do I have three? All right, we're gonna do, how wide is this? All right, so we're gonna do three inches by four and an eighth. So I'm gonna cut my four and an eighth. I'm just using a piece of scrap paper here by three. 
all right? And the reason I cut that, that dimension, is because that's the width of the bottom piece of our cardstock. So now I'm going to take my paper and I'm going to lay it on my measuring and I'm going to put a little tick mark at the one inch line on the top right. All right. And once you do that, now you can put your tick mark. This is the beauty of this cutter with the clear arm. I'm going to put my corner down here and on my tick mark and I'm just going to cut. All right. So that's going to be our holder. And then if you have a little piece of pencil line showing, just erase that off. Easy enough to do that. And so this is going to go into the card like this with plenty of room to, grow, to put a photo or a gift card or, or some cash or whatever you want to do. So when you glue this in, I, I'm just going to use some liquid glue. I'm, I'm not going to put any glue along the angled edge because that's the opening. So just put your glue along the three straight sides right here and leave that angled side open. It's nice too because you can grab it right there and not get any glue on your fingers. And then you're just going to line up the bottom and lay it down and just give it a couple minutes to dry. So now you have your pocket for cash, gift card, photo, letter, whatever you want. All right, so now we want to decorate the front. So I have gone ahead and stamped three flowers. These are from the stamp set and I stamped them in Poppy Parade and then I took some um, alcohol markers in Daffodil Delight because it kind of went along with the middle of these flowers that were also colored in. I think these were colored in crushed curry. So the Daffodil Delight matches really well. So I went ahead and, and colored the dots in the flowers, that color. So I cut three, stamped three, die cut three. And then in shaded spruce, which coordinates with this paper, I cut three sets of leaves. So we're gonna go ahead and put those on the front of the card. But first I wanna add my leaves. So I'm going to, I'm going to be placing them along here like this, okay? And then I'm gonna pop the middle one up with a dimensional. So I'm gonna put the leaves here because I don't want them to stick up too much here because they're gonna be in the way when they open the tag. All right, so we are going to lay these upside down and then I'm just gonna put Actually, I'm going to do it this way. This is probably easier. So if you lay them all right side up, like this, then you can just put some glue, just a little dab of glue. I'm just doing dots of glue on these bottom leaves because I'm only going to have the bottom glued down. All right, and then I'm going to take my flowers and just pop that on there any way you want like that and then we've got one more and I'm just putting one dot of liquid glue on each little leaf and then pop this down okay so I'm going to give them a moment to set and now I'm going to take this let's see we're going to take one of these and we're going to put dimensionals on it so I'm going to set that aside for a moment and then I'm just going to kind of figure out where I'd like these to go so I think I'm going to put the first one here so I know I only want to put adhesive here so I just flip that over and we'll put a little bit of adhesive just on these And then I like to kind of put my finger where the adhesive ends, just so I know to make sure it's going that far. And then pop that down. And I want to make sure that my leaves don't go past the borders of the card because you want it to fit in an envelope and not get smashed, right? So now I'm going to do the same thing for this one. I'm going to kind of look and see where I'm going to put it. So I want to make sure that my glue is all here. And I'm just putting a little bit on there.
and centering my flowers. Whoops. There you go. Let's make sure I don't have any glue out there. Nope. It got away from me for a second. Now for this one, I can put this on exactly the same way. I could turn these up this way, but I think I'm going to do it this way. I could have actually put my flowers out to the side too, or done more flower or leaves. I could have put my leaves at the side and done two sets of leaves. That would be cute too. Next time. I didn't do it that way this time. All right, so I'm going to put it this way. So I only want my dimensionals on the top half. So I'm going to grab those. I love playing around with ideas. Um, because sometimes you look at things a second time and come up with a whole new way to do it. So there's that. Now I am going to grab my sticky scissors and cut a few of these edges. Just make sure you use scissors designated for sticky when you're cutting dimensionals because you don't want to gum up your good paper snips. Um, but I was hoping these are still too big so we're not going to worry about it. That, that would be a job for many dimensionals, which I didn't pull out, so it's okay. This is actually enough. So now I'm going to lay the one with the dimensionals. I'm going to put it a little bit higher because they'll be able to get that open anyways. All right, so there we go. And then if you feel like you need another dimensional, like I put mine a little higher, so I could probably add one more dimensional. And you can just use your take your pick tool and just pop it. Actually, we'll do it this way. Pop it right under there and take my paper off. There we go. Okay, so there's our card. Wasn't hard. Uh, it's going to be a lot of fun for whoever gets it because they're going to be able to see this little tab and open it and have a fun little message. And then inside, plenty of room for a, mess, a note. And then, of course, you can add your little gift card right right in here like that now if this is really tight just take your bone folder and open it up a little bit but yeah you can just set set your gift card right in there I don't have a gift card to put in there um, or a photo I mean there's lots you can see there's lots and lots of room cash a, a gift card photo a letter whatever super simple and so cute so let me show you another one I made. This is using the stamp Make-A-Wish and the cake. Look how pretty it is. And then this pull tab right here underneath, I have a message. I have um, the fresh free sea, or actually bubble bath. I believe this is bubble bath. Um, the second layer, I use the deckled circle dies to cut these circles. And then, so the second layer in the fresh freesia says hope your birthday is wonderful so it says make your wish when you pull open the tab it says hope your birthday is wonderful and then i very lightly stamped another cake underneath it i also stamped some cakes on here and then put sending you lots of love and then this paper is from the brightest what is it called the bright and beautiful designer series paper i love this for birthdays so that is in the annual catalog so super cute card so that's card number two and then card number three I used that beautiful paper from the celebration catalog um, oh, it's so pretty I just can't get enough of it um, and it has the heart and I did everything the same this is a three by three square so I cut my mask three by three and then I have three and a quarter by three and a quarter larger in gold because this paper is gold, um, flirty flamingo, and real red. So I stamped everything accordingly. And then inside, we pulled this beautiful gold paper into the inside as well. And then I embossed You Are the Best in gold so I could keep that gold theme going and added my pocket right there. So there's another way to do that. So here are three ways to use the Hooray for Surprises stamp set to make some really cute cards. And I wanted to point this out too. The candle comes with a flame, which is really pretty, but I decided to use the heart for a flame. So there's a fun little way to do that. So these are the cards and this is the way to make the fun fold gift card holder using the Hooray for si uh, Surprises, the very special stamp set with 
the hidden surprises in every card. So if you enjoyed this video, don't uh, forget to go to my channel and like and subscribe so you don't miss any of these fun um, card tutorials. I also have on my website blog all of the cutting instructions, dimensions, and products that we used. So if you need to go back to that and write down how to create the card, it's all there for you. Of course, I'd love for you to be my customer. Um, I always give out free gifts to all of my customers and try to take very good care of them. So if you are looking for a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, please consider me. I am Jill the Wandering Stamper and I hope you get a chance to craft today. Thanks so much for joining me.